G'day everyone and welcome to an Assault Squad 2 game on the Strat 29 World at War mod version 2.2 at the moment, which is mainly the Strat uh, 29 World at War mod. We are watching Judska go up against Shotter or Guero de Elba as you see there with that uh, very expletive clan tag there. Uh, Judska is playing as the Soviets and the Hungarians are going to be under the control of Shotter. So it's going to be a very interesting game. This is a very, very much a grudge match. Uh, both players hate each other, hate losing to each other rather, uh, a lot, and they've both started with assault squads, which is quite interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. I thought I would have sworn some elite marksmen or something like that, but um, no, we've gone with assault squads. There's the infantry man killed just there, a rifleman of Judska. Over on the eastern point, we don't see too much action, but we see a lot of soldiers from Shotter. He's going to try and capture this point, obviously, it's going to be his main focus of attack. As that SMG soldier goes down there, and then we can see a grenade throw. It's going to hit its target, but it's not going to get its kill. Over on the western flag, we see the dominance of Jadska. So it obviously looks like the west will belong to the Soviets, and the east will belong to the Hungarians. As the center is also ticking up for the Soviet faction as well. He's gone with a partisan squad, Jadska, to the eastern flag. Good, good idea, I suppose. He's um. He's now got a lock on the western flag, as we can see. The middle is also ticking up for the Soviet Empire, as this Hungarian rifleman has run around the side and will unfortunately be PPSH to the face. But the, uh, what is that? The Danuvia 43M just does some, does some damage there. Judska trying to get a grenade off. He does get a grenade off. And that SMG soldier eventually dies to the PPSH. The center is all about, now it's all about the Hungarians as Shotter does some very nice infantry play there. It is 2-0 early on, 1 minute 46 into the game. The PPSH gunning down another SMG soldier of Shotter's Hungarian Empire. And if Judds could just move a guy in there, we'd probably see him start to cap this point, but it doesn't look like he wants to. Don't know if that's for strategic purposes or just a little bit of lacking micro there. He's also gone, no, it's just another three partisans from that squad earlier. And Shotter is trying to recapture and reclaim this Western flag that the Soviets earlier had dominance on. It's one to two, Shotter finally getting himself on the board, but no points are capped at the moment, which means no one will be ticking up two minutes and 30 seconds into this game almost. And it's a very, very close and even affair. Nice grenade there from Jutsko to get this rifle and we hope it does get that rifleman, and he's really got a stranglehold on this eastern point. The middle is all Soviets as well. The western flag is all about uh, shot as Hungarians, though, and he's gone with some conscripts. He's got 250 manpower. Don't know what he's saving for this early on. Maybe it's the Tolly. I don't really know. I'm not up to date with the 1v1 meta at the moment. Splitting his conscript squad not entirely in half. A bit of a 3-5 split here. He's also got the Tolly one, so there you go. Maybe I am more updated than what I think. T60, though, response from Judska, and that was really interesting. Judska was able to buy so much infantry. I think he bought the Assault Squad, the Partisan Squad, straight off the bat. There might have been even another sneaky little Partisan Squad in there. Not 100% sure. But uh, Shotter just pretty much banked straight for the Tolly, and they came out at exactly the same time. The T60's already got the tracks of the Tolly. The Tolly's pretty much a Luke, so if he gets any side shots going on here, Judska, it's going to be uh, Pain City for the Hungarian Tolly 1. There is a sneaky guy in the building back here from Judska. That's good to see. The T60 now going to be rolling over with some shock infantry trying to reclaim this western point that they held earlier on. The eastern point is still remaining all Hungarian. Sorry, all, all Soviet Union as uh, Shotter is the green flags on the map. He's Hungarian at the moment. Vehicle repaired goes up. I think they repaired one of the two tracks on the Toldy 1. And there's some side shots here for the T60. He's also going with a 40M Kaspar. Kaspar? Kaspar? Kaspar. Kaspar. Kaspar the Friendly Ghost. The Hungarian one-point infantry, uh, one-point special buy. Judska, he's trying to get the tracks here, Shotter, but it doesn't look like it's going to occur. T60 firing off some shots. I'd be a little bit frustrated that this thing hasn't died yet. Here comes another Hungarian AT rifle that can really change the balance of things. I think it's been tracked. He's going to take the shot, and it goes over the top of it, and it, then it just bounces off the front, and then it dies. So Judska really had the, um, had the upper hand in that battle. But um, it went south quite quickly once that Hungarian AT rifle, second best AT rifle in the game. I believe the best one is the guards rifle of the Soviet Union, that little AT rifle that that comes with. Now let's watch this uh, little machine gun car do some damage over here, the 40M. It's trying to take out as it avoids another, or just the singular, I don't know if it avoided two, but it avoided a 
a AT grenade there, and it's also killed two SMG soldiers plus a partisan, so it's done its work. It's killed six infantry, so it's more than done its job. There's an AT rifle coming from Judska now. It's three to five, five minutes and three seconds in as the conscripts here from shot are moving on the point. Still that sneaky SMG soldier in a very, very good spot, just spamming the conscripts out here, getting a massive infantry up to this point. That's what he needs to do, but he also needs to flank through to the center, and it looks like that he is not capturing the middle, as that flag is Soviet, as the shock infantry does outrank the two SMG soldiers there. So the Toldy one, fully repaired, rolling in on this eastern or western point, sorry, the flamethrower. In a very, very nice position. Let's look at him here. He's, he's doing some damage. He's, he's got, his little, got his little pack on. I can't click on him, unfortunately. I wish I could change, but I don't really know if I change and then it lags out the game. There's, there's been some problems, but the uh, flamethrower doesn't live to kill or burn many more Hungarians on that beautiful Soviet barbecue that he was going to create. So the AT rifle probably took out the 40M. That's my guess. Actually, no, it hasn't taken out the 40M. I think it's just tracked or something. I've, maybe it's just engine damage as they've all climbed out the bottom here. It's very interesting how they fit into that little square. The center is all the Soviet Union's. This white shot his best efforts. No, he's now capturing the center, so that's that's quite good news for him. It's 5 to 5, 6 minutes 15 seconds in. T-34, 76 out from Judska. I believe that is, the, that is the first version of the T-34, 76. It's not the second version of the T-34, 76. Another shock infantry out from Judska. It's surely, it's surely charge time, is it? It's, it's not. No, he's gone with guard's rifle. Okay, that'll be an interesting buy for later on. Probably would have gone the charge myself, but we'll see how Judska plays with that. He's trying to AT rifle snipe. No, he's not. He's trying to finish off his 40M. Smart idea. Karinja going up a few times here. The, uh, the flamethrower might want to look out. Probably even uh, flame these two guys, to be honest. It's not like it's not like he's in any trouble there. The Toldy one is over on the eastern point right now. Trying to find its way in here. It's It's got a clear line of sight on this this precariously placed shock infantry flamethrower if it wants to, but here comes the T-34. He's dragging the T-34 away from where it wants to be, and it's definitely over on this side. 13 to 5 right now. Judska is looking at a 3-cap from Shoulder. It's a very, very master, masterly uh, planned 3-cap, I might say so myself, as it looked like that Shoulder was going to be struggling a little bit earlier on, but the guard's rifle have been pushed back by these conscripts and SMG soldiers, so that's quite a good win for Shotter over on the western flag. The eastern flag is where the T-34 versus Toldy action is happening. It's already 23 to 5. I only said the score about a minute ago and it's already nearly doubled here for Shotter. That is the death, uh, the death trap of a 3-cap, as we see, finishing off that uh, 40M very nicely. And then the flamethrower gets shot out of the air. I don't know what by. I'm tipping an SMG soldier, or maybe it was just a lone rifleman got a shot on the flamethrower pack, but that is quite unlucky. As it goes down, the Panzer Grenadiers with their little uh, little pea shooters here doing some damage on the shock infantry soldiers. Probably shouldn't be in uh, on the old not fire mode, but they are. He's decapped the point, so it means Shotter has less of a strike. Well, it's 39 to 5. A 34 point gap has opened up out of nowhere. Assault squad from Judska to the middle. Uh, yes, Assault squad from Judska to the middle. And additionally, some partisans to the eastern flag. He's going to try and take this point. Shotter using the Toldy very, very nicely. He's run over to this side now, which means the T-34 has to reposition itself all the way across to the other side of the map. But there is a sneaky guards rifle, rifle AT here. Will he be able to use it in time? Yes, he will. Hull destroyed. Very well played, Judska. You can see him running off. That AT rifle is an absolute beast. Can I click on him? Yes, I can. Look at it. It's just... So long, the 14.5 PTRD. I knew that off the top of my head without even having to look. But this is the little, uh, the, that thing. It's kind of like a flak on a half track. It's an interesting invention that works quite well. As we see the T-34 shot fly over the top of it. And I think that shot is going to be running around trying to do a bit of smash and grab tactics as he finds that sneaky SMG soldier. Well played there. The T-34 rocking around the middle. It's an interesting, very interesting. I don't, I don't know how this is going to survive. A T-34, all it needs to do is take one shot. It's 48 to 5. Two points do belong to Shotter still, so he's still ticking up. The middle currently belongs to absolutely no one as a hull-destroyed engine damage goes up on that little 
flak half track unit and now this is the time where Jutska finds his way back into the game I feel it's 50 to 5 if you can buy a T60 I'd do it but he's gone with some more infantry also some riflemen unfortunately lagging behind the shock infantry flamethrower I think this is the third we've seen they haven't killed too much to be honest probably one kill each so they've gone one for one which isn't really what you want from a flamethrower but this machine gun is in a, is in a very very nice place it's the main place for a machine gun especially if you're hungry <laughs> Especially if you're German, as the flamethrower, uh, unfortunately, set himself alight and then got blown up. So, geez, that's that's a real, real shit way to die there. So, uh, two deaths in one as Judska is trailing by 50 points, 10 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. <coughs> as I remove my mouth from the microphone to uh, cough a little bit. And finally, the charge unit is out from Judska. He's also split up here and... Got a few riflemen running around. It'd be good to see where he goes with this. He's got he's got the majority of points at the moment, or two are ticking up in his favour, I should say, or I should say zones. Points are the things at the top of the screen. But the zone belonging to the west hand portion of the map is currently Judska's, and the centre is also currently Judska's. In just a sec, there is a sneaky guy in there who does get shot in the face by a PPSH. Not the way I'd like to go, as some riflemen also moving into the central area, or the Middle Eastern point. Geez, Middle Eastern, I better be uh, careful how I throw around that bit of phrasing. But the central area between the eastern and central point would be known as the Middle Eastern area as a Turan 3 currently out from Shotter looking to take out the T-34 it's it's got HE loaded at the moment don't know if the T-34 can hit the turret but I'm pretty sure the Turan 3's turret is kind of like the Panzer H's don't really know having a guess but he's gonna try it let's, let's see what he can do here he's creeping in I don't think he actually has a shot on the turret I think the, the pressure might just be a little bit too low. No, he's, no, he's, he's backing out. Yeah, he, he knows that he can't take the Turan 3 from this distance. It's 58 to 9. Judska finally ticking up. He's got a nice sandbag line that I'm a big fan of. He's also got a massive amount of infantry in between these points, which I'm also a fan of. Setting up some riflemen. Interesting firing angle. Might struggle with these uh, with these concrete walls in the way, but if he can if he can blow up those walls, by all means, that's a beautiful sandbag line placement there. As you can see, he can cover really anyone trying to get at him uh, through this direction, through the houses, and also has some nice cover on the road. So he covers a bit of two for one with his one back sandbag line there as the rifleman throws a sneaky sneaky grenade onto some soldiers. And now Jelska is looking at not doing too much. There we go, he's killing that rifleman. So there's a three cap at the moment, or it's about to be a three cap as the Turan 3 versus T-34 battle rages on. T-34 hiding behind that house. That window there can shoot through, that he can shoot through. That would be a uh, master class of fast shooting there if he was able to find that window. Turan 3 backs off. Now this is a, this is a bit of a problem here. Whilst uh, Shotter was banking for this Turan 3, he really didn't have any infantry to keep up. And you can see now all these red dots on the map, it's currently infested with the Soviet Union infantry as he's looking to move over on this eastern flank. It's a very, very nice bit of movement here. Flamethrower from Shotter. Probably need to be placed a little bit better, a little bit earlier. Would have been able to hold the point. But 58 to 21 is a 37 point difference. Only 13 minutes in. But the thing that Shotter has in his favor is he has seven hero points up his sleeve and he's also got a 34 point lead. That'll only last about three to five minutes though if he currently leaves the three cap the way it is. Judska's bazooka men are running around everywhere. I think that's a marine squad in a half track. That might even be the, uh, I want to say the, the black marines, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Here comes a regular assault squad. No, it just comes a regular squad, I believe, from Shotter over on this side, maybe. No, I, think it, I think it's an Assault Squad. I, they're just not called Assault Infantry, they're just called SMG. No, there we go, Assault Squad Leader. So an Assault Squad over here. The half track is probably going to do some damage. I don't know if it has the 50 cal on it. No, it doesn't. It has that little um, Russian machine gun. The, um, the, the Marines version does. It needs an AT rifle over here, quick smart. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to get it. Is that Marine? is very lucky to not be hit by all these SMGs. It's quite often that on the USA variant or the Soviet variant of the half track, the guy gets shot off quite quickly. But uh, he takes a shot at it with the Turan 3, and then an AT rifle hits it in the front, and now it's a free half track. So, you know, he's ended up headed up coming out with a plus. There has shot a yep, he's gonna jump in, and the half track's gonna be his. This guy might be able to snipe that guy off the top though, that'd be kind of funny. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. And he's probably gonna get 
found by these three guys. So that's unfortunate there for that little leader of the charge. But look at that. I said it was going to last three to five minutes, and it only lasted about two. As it's 58 to 61. Judska storming back into the lead. And a three-cap right now is dangerous, because that means he can storm his way or very rapidly move his way to a, to a victory here. It's 58 to 64, six points of difference. The middle is currently ticking up in the favor of the Hungarians though. So Schotter has stopped three cap, but there's a sneaky man back here. Look at this, Nimrod and 40M. Nice bit of combination over here to the Eastern flag. But the problem is he doesn't have any infantry. He has those three soldiers, five, four soldiers there. Not gonna be able to do too much as the T-34, is it? No, it's a T-70. Nice buy. I'm pretty sure it can deflect the Nimrod shells from a long way away, but let's watch this. Shock inventory, super sneak on Turan 3. It's 58 to 68, 10 points of difference. Middle is still ticking up in a favor. Just and there it is. I was trying to get back in time. Unfortunately, I just missed it, but hull destroyed from that shock infantry soldier, and that's probably GG. It's 58 to 70. He's only got three hero points left. T-34 is still alive and kicking. Hull destroyed is very helpful as well. Track damage up. I'm pretty sure it was the T-34 that caused that. He's going to try and kill some infantry, but the T-34 will be coming over to quite easily finish off. It missed. And I think he left it alone because he thinks he's going to die. And if he didn't, he might have been able to do some damage. But main gun turret means game over for Shotter, I feel. It's 76 to 58. Three cap for Shotter. 18 points of difference. 19 points of difference. About to be 20 points of difference. T-34 is just going to own the field really. There's not there's not much that can be done here by Shotter, I feel. An AT rifle by an AT man by might have been good there. He could have snuck in, but uh, he's stopping the three cap at least. It's 24 points of difference. Shotter is uh, Jutsker is 17 points away from the win. An AT man there from Jutsker was interestingly placed on the middle. He's trying to stop he's trying to stop this three cap as quickly as he can. He just needs to stop that three cap and he might be able to get himself back into the game with a sneaky AT gun by, but it doesn't look like they have any good AT guns. The Pack 40 is okay, I guess. Could do the damage on the T-34, but it probably won't at this late stage. Needs to throw an AT grenade over this wall, Shana. I believe he's microing the middle, though, so he has not seen... There we go, but the, <laughs> the Marine machine gunner throws the grenade over first, but somehow that machine gunner did not shoot shot as guys. That was a very, very interesting bit of play is this guy can still be shot from that angle I believe needs to be more behind the house it is 17 minutes 10 seconds gone 12 points for victory for uh, for Jutska pretty sure it's GG shot are not giving up just yet but uh, with three hero points it's looking quite likely that he's gonna lose the uh, pans are gonna do a man would have been nice to have a little bit earlier the middle is currently shot as though so that's good he stopped the three cap how can he work his way back into this game Jesus walking on water. He needs a miracle right now, but the conscripts are flooding into this eastern flag, trying to keep the three cap. Just, just, just trying to stop the three cap. Just trying to keep the game going as long as possible for some fluky shotter bullshit to happen. Needs the AT man around here, I feel, and it could get interesting, or could get very interesting if you had the AT man here. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He would have been able to kill that T-34 and maybe keep himself in the game. It's 58-91, just nine points needed for Jadzka. Maybe the Hungary decision. He did have uh, he did have Germany selected before the game, but quickly changed to Hungary right at the end. And it looks like it might not. It might be the uh, the thing that hurts him the most. 65 meters away, if he was here, he'd be a lot closer. He'd probably get that 30 meters that he needs. It's 60. Uh, it's 93 to 58. Seven points for Jadzka. He's looking at having two to one point domination at the moment. Although Shotter is keeping himself in the game with this with this point, but a T60 by at this this moment means GG unless there's an AT rifle out from the Hungarians sitting around here to kill that T60. Doesn't look like there's going to be. It's a two point to one situation at the moment. It is 95 to 58. And wow, how quickly did this game turn around? It was a three cap for Shotter. He was doing all the right things. Banked heavily for that Charan 3. And I think that's that, that's what uh, that's what hurt him uh, the most. The over-investing, the time of banking for that that Shiran 3 has hurt him. I mean, the, the Bazooka can still kill the T-60 and prolong the game, but he's decapped the middle, so it means no one's getting points at the moment. He's, he's just hanging on. He's got to hang on for dear life. He needs an AT rifle buy for this T-60, because I don't think that that is ever going to work. <clears throat> he's got some sandbags on the middle, which means he can duke it out for a little bit, but the guard's rifle do have the uh, extra skill points needed on their weapons to take out this regular infantry squad that is Hungarian at the moment. 
He's 96 to 58, just four points from victory here. All, all, all Judsky needs to do is just keep playing like this. He doesn't have to rush a T60. He doesn't have to do anything. The game is all on shotter at the moment. It's four points to difference. 19 minutes, 40 seconds gone. Partisan squad here from Judska, just, you know, chilling out a little bit. T60 now moving across the middle, doing the right things. Doesn't have to get super close, doesn't want to be AT rifled, just doing the stock standard, what you need to do to win this game. It's pretty much a three cap, it's 98 to 58. It's been GG for a little while as he runs the machine gunner away. Not going to do too much though. 58.99, one point though for Judska. It's about to be a three cap. I'm going to say GG on this one and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully they play another game. So I can record again as we watch that T60 do some beautiful kills. T3476 was the highest point scorer of the game. GG well played. Catch us next time.